Research Center at ONA in South Florida. So we have several tools here that we can use to try to estimate the dry matter of the hay. So one that would be quite important is the scale, right? Because you need to weigh the initial material. So this is a fancy one. Marcelo has that one. Uh, but if you go to the kitchen, a lot of people, they will have a kitchen scale, a small one that you can, I always like to weight about 100 grams because it's an even number, you know, 100 grams and then you put to dry and then you come back, you have 90 grams, you know, you have 10% moisture, 9% dry matter, that's it, it's easy. You don't need to make a lot of math if we start with 100 grams, right? It's pretty easy. But let's talk about the, the options that we have. So we start from the one that everybody has at home uh, microwave, right? Does anybody doesn't have a microwave at home? You don't? The same guy that was using a sickle mower. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but in general, they do, right? They do have a microwave. And I think that is the easiest because everybody, nobody needs a new piece of equipment in the barn, in the corner that you're going to lose when you need. So the microwave is there in the kitchen, right? It's not going anywhere. You are not moving around to do stuff. So just leave it there and use your microwave. That's easy. easy. That's why I like it. It's easy. But to do the microwave thing, you need to do some important steps to do it right. So I told you you need to weigh the forge, right? And then you put in the microwave, right? in a little bowl, you put it there. One thing, you need to put on the corner a glass with water. Put a glass with water on the corner, on the back. If you don't do it, guess what's gonna happen? The forage you burn. You're gonna see smoke and you burn. So then, not only you don't have the dry matter correct, but also you have a smoke and something burning in your kitchen. So, not good, not good. So remember, water on the corner, right there. First thing, put the water. And then you put the forage there. And you put in the high, and you just run for a minute, right? One minute. 10 minutes? No, one minute. <laughs> Let's do 10 minutes and go do something else and come back. No, 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 no. no. One minute. One. And then you get it out, and you wait again, right? And then you put again. Another? How many minutes? One minute, yeah, that, is that easy or what? <laughs> right, start with 100 grams and you are doing one minute at a time, that's easy. Nobody's so busy that you cannot be there for 10 minutes, right? 10 minutes you get this done. But anyway, you do it again and we will come down again, right? And then you wait. After you do that five, six, seven times, you're gonna see that the weight is start repeating. So that means you are not losing more water. It's dry by then. When you wait three times and you have the same weight, that is your dry matter, it's dry. You start with 100, you wait three times, you have 90, so then you have 90% dry matter, that's the dry matter of your hay. Does it make sense? Easy enough? Okay, that's the one that I like the most, okay? But there are other options. Second one is another thing that we have in the kitchen. This is kind of fancy, it's new, is the air fryer. And I don't know if you, it's very good for chicken nuggets and fries, right? That's it, don't try to cook in this thing, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> Fried chicken, no, no, not air fryer. But anyway, it does well on that. I try a few times to do the dry matter here, the procedure is similar, however, if you see this bowl here on the bottom, it has, has a screen. The forge that go past that screen and get on the bottom of the air fryer start burning. And then you can smell it. So, and it's difficult to keep, and that happens with fries as well. If the fries go through, you start burning. So, that's why I don't like it, because if you burn something inside, so that pretty much means that you are burning the material, the dry matter will not be accurate. And then you have the bad smell as well, that something is burning at the house. So it's an option if you don't have the microwave, right there. Uh, but it's, uh, I, I like the microwave better. It's a little more accurate. So this one, 
is a dryer is really good it's, it's very accurate but the problem is another tool that you need to do just for the day right Lem, remember that we talk about do we need another tool another thing to have it that probably you're gonna have to put somewhere and then you'll not find it or you break so i like it it's 400 dollars this one so it's a little costly 400 but you give you a very accurate measure and that's pretty simple as well it's electric will dry and then you do the same procedure with the scale that we mentioned at the micro and now we'll talk about probably the most popular that we'll just talk here right that is make a bail and try this right try this and check the moisture that's quite popular and you or you can do it go in the wind row and try this one that one is made to go in the wind row and check the moisture and they're accurate they're good for you to have a, a, a very good idea where you are in the drying period you keep measuring over time you have a data bank and experience so you can relate your thoughts and one thing that <clears throat> people call me and ask all the time and they ask me why after i bail my hay the moisture increase have you heard that hay sweating somebody have heard that they call hay sweating right so you bail your hay when you use this material here to measure you measure outside your your moisture is like um, you have 12 percent moisture let's say then you bail you put in the barn in three four days you measure against 15 and they call that hay sweaty and and if you go up north they'll call different things but that's what they call but then there is the impression that we are creating moisture inside of the bale right because that's what it is when what happens from 12 to 15 the moisture increase but the problem is the moisture increase because of the accuracy of the proof it's not that the moisture it create moisture inside the bale the moisture just move from the center of the stem to the edge of the stem because the edge of the stem the out of the stem got drier so the moisture from inside is start moving to the outside when you use the same procedure now this thing will pick it up so you don't create moisture right what happened is the material when you bail was 15 percent however your device was not accurate enough to pick it up the moisture because some of the moisture get trapped inside the stem is that a problem most of the times no but it's a problem when you are on the edge remember the fire so people need to hurry up rain is coming and they bail bail put in the barn oh it's 15 with this probe but then maybe 18 right because you was not able to capture all the dry matter so i think when you work on the edge that becomes a little sensitive and a little more dangerous when you are working around the 10 it may be 12 i think then is safe i don't think you make a lot of difference a little moisture inside of the hay will heat up the hay will increase the temperature inside of the bale not to the point they will catch fire but what happens when increase temperature the protein of your hay and some of the energy goes down so it's not available to the animal when the, the the temperature goes up so those are probably something that you need to to think about it what i do with my probe i have one is different from this one but we use it what i do i calibrate my probe with my dryer so what i do i have a moisture probe like this i test it and it gives me 15 percent right so then i put that forward in the dryer and i really dry and then that is 12. so i create that calibration that i say when i stick i know when i stick that probe is 15 is actually 12. or vice versa sometimes it's 17. but i calibrate my probe so i can you know be a little safer mainly when we are on the top <clears throat> 